Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a heavyweight contest. It's a match made over a time of 30 minutes. Six rounds of five minutes each, with two pinfalls, submissions, or a knockout to decide. Ladies and gentlemen, I have great pleasure in presenting to you in the blue corner from Ballam in London, Lee Bronson. And opposing him in the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, it is with very great pleasure indeed that we have the opportunity of welcoming back to the rings in this country the man who left us about nine years ago, the former British heavyweight champion and undefeated at that, who for the last nine years has been wrestling all around the world. He is now recognized as the leading contender for the world title. Ladies and gentlemen, originally from Manchester, now from Minneapolis, Billy Robinson. Hello again, grappling fans. Good afternoon to you. And here at the City Hall in St. Albans, we present another freestyle wrestling session. And we start with what, not what we normally start with, a preliminary contest by any means. A main bout. In fact, all three bouts this afternoon are main bouts, really. Can't be really called anything else. This one is especially a main bout because it concerns the man there in the darker trunks, the dark blue trunks, a man who has uh, left the shores nine years ago, Billy Roberts, the former heavyweight champion of Great Britain, who's been in America and Japan and all over the world wrestling. He's gone up from 16 stone 2 to 17 stone 7, but he's really, as uh, John Harris said at the beginning of the program this afternoon, or the beginning of the first round here, uh, the leading contender for the world title. His opponent, Lee Bronson, of Ballam, London, at a mere 50 stone four, but it's in the heavyweight bracket. Lee Bronson we know well over here, of course, a tremendous potential he's got as a heavyweight, but when he comes up against a man like Billy Robinson, well, good luck, Lee. Max Ward is the uh, referee there in his usual striped shirt. Max from Birmingham. And already Billy Robinson showing us what got him the title of uh, British heavyweight champion. All those nine years ago, and of course, he had to relinquish that title when he left these shores, but, uh, and the title became vacant and is now held, as you know, by Tony Sinclair. But uh, he's not going to stay over here too long anyway, Billy. Lee Bronson from Ballam at uh, six foot two of Lee. So they're both uh, about the same height. <laughs> Lee giving away two stone, three pounds here to the great one and only Billy Robinson from originally from Manchester, now from Minneapolis. and surprising the Robinson there just a little bit on two occasions for those great beautiful time iron rolls a couple of minutes to go in this first round of six two falls to the side Oh, yeah. 
Yes, he gave, gave him the chance to get that quick waist hold there. Oh, nicely. No body check. To do that to Robinson is not bad. In fact, Lee Bronson, really quite surprising what he's doing so far here. Of course, he knows what he's up against, and he's got to put everything into every single move, even from round one. Just one minute left now. but nicely out there with the feet. Beautiful down the arm roll again by Johnson. And Robinson can't hold him. Very nicely indeed, Robinson. He really putting up a great show this first round. Tremendous. Just coming up towards the end of round one now, but Johnson has shown that he's not going to give up easily against this man by any means. Five seconds. Arm lock to Bronson, but he won't pay him. So Lee Bronson of Balham, London, 15 stone four, six foot two in height, famous wrestling father, I'm sure Grapple fans will remember, Norman the Butcher, who finished wrestling actually in about 1948, just soon after the war, but this is the Simon Second is doing pretty round, well. Round two. Great potential Lee Bronson has, as he's already shown in round one. Round two, five rounds to go, and no score. Two falls to decide this bout. Lee Bronson of London against Bill Robinson. Now of Minneapolis, but formerly of Lancashire, of course, of 17 stone seven. Match Ward, the ref. That's a very vicious looking roll off the hip there, cross buttock. And a great fine out of Robinson. And for the head as well. One, two, three, <clears throat> four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, no, no. Well, when Robinson gives you a bear hug, I think you know you've been bound. No. Ah. Oh, Reaching for a great fire, great fine on the opposite leg, which is very ambitious. No. That weight comes down there, it's going to feel that in the back of the neck. Yay, 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 yay. But perfectly legal. Now it's the back that's going to worry in there, the neck. And Robinson going for the crotch hold again, a slam, and a vicious looking slam. Going for the back weakness now, obviously, Robinson. <clears throat> again the crotch hold, but this time very neatly countered by Bronson. Very nearly countered, at least he escaped from it. Going for the crutch hold again, but again that right leg of Bronson comes out to aim for the grapevine that forced Billy Robinson to give up. This time the crutch hold gets there, but the slam may not. Notice the beautiful way that Bronson was presenting himself going up there. Beautiful. The slam the other way. Again the crutch hold by Bronson. Picking up 17 and a half stone there. Thinking of a full Boston crab, I think, here to try and turn the great man over. I cannot see him giving from it, even if he gets him there.
Less than two minutes now, round two. And he's got the Boston Trail almost on. If he can get that right leg right over there, it is. But no, forced out almost before he got it. Sweat just literally pouring off it. I'm just thinking to pour off anybody who try to lift, throw uh, 17 and a half stone around. A spin out attempt. Bronson stopped at that time. Bronson's only been a pro wrestler about uh, three years. So when uh, Robinson left this country, he was in the unpaid ranks as a young boy, I should think. One minute to go. Really interesting to see Lee Bronson put up such a great show so far. Let's hope he can continue with this. He's trying to spin out again. seconds maybe the head yes the spin out nearly came off there from the head but still not didn't work properly so let's get rid of him just eight seconds to go round two yes finally out got rid of him but he's glad too and a double arm over the top, but too late in this round. Robinson's counterattack came just a few seconds too late. That could have been dangerous for Lee Bronson there. There it is. Let's go and have a close-up look now at uh, Bill Robinson, this great man. Oh, the titles he's got since he left this country nine years ago. He's the first foreigner ever to win the All Nations Championships in Japan for a start. He got the Pacific Wrestling Federation, uh, where only the Japs have won before. Three. He's also the reigning Empire Heavyweight Champion. So quite a few titles to Robinson's name, apart, of course, from being the former heavyweight champion of Great Britain. Round three, four rounds to go. No score, and that amazes me for one, that this big man in the dark blue trunks has not been able to uh, get this Lee Brunson on the deck yet. If you're having tr trouble with the trunks, distinguishing the two men, the striped socks will help enormously. But Robinson are wear wearing... He's coming over his very shiny black boots. I think you can probably see that in the lights too. I need mean, another black and white set. Robinson was underneath it, but though Lee Bronson, I think, is suffering more from it. That landing. He's had a few back weakness already in this part. And a drop kick. Ooh, a big 70 and a half stone going for a drop kick. A lean back one. Beautiful. <laughs> Never expected to see him do that. And if the arms inside takes his man over, doesn't even have to hold the arms because there's no chance there at all. In one minute, 25 seconds of round three, Robinson gets the first fall over Brunson. And John Harris, our MC, to announce it. Ladies and gentlemen, in round three, the first fall of the contest to Billy Robinson. This, of course, I suppose not many of the grapple fans in, in this uh, city hall here at St. Albans possibly remember some of the young ones don't even remember him at all. But I'm sure most of the older grapple fans like myself will remember him very well indeed.